Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to set up TechnoParrot for your front end using batch files. This isn't going to be front end specific. Um, I hope that if you have a front end set up and running and you're far enough that you're trying to get TechnoParrot running, you know the basics of your front end and you know how to uh, point it to files to launch for games or whatever. We're basically going to treat the batch files like ROMs, so it's pretty simple. Okay. I'm not going to put the link in the description but you can look close enough and see where I'm going here. Okay, you'll have to log in with the Facebook button if you're not already a member. Um, and you're gonna go right here to Retro Addict. And these batch files will work for any front end, so it doesn't matter, don't pay any attention to that. Scroll down to Techno Parent. Okay, optional batch files for alternate launch. Okay, download those. I already did. I don't know why I downloaded that again. I already have them. Okay, so click that. And then you're going to take those files and move them somewhere. Okay, I just put them in a folder on my desktop. Okay, so I moved those files over here into a TechnoParrot batch folder just for the purposes of this video. Okay, and then extract them. And you'll get this folder, TechnoBatch. Inside there, You'll have batch files for all the games I have set up. Okay, you can open up any of them and get a look at how they work. They're all the same. The, the name of the file is different. And one part, okay, see right here where it says mkdx.xml? That has to match the XML inside, let's see, inside your TechnoParrot emulator, okay? Which I'll show you right here. Here's my TechnoParrot emulator. I don't have them actually set up yet. Hold on, we'll do one real quick. Okay. I don't even care about any of that right now. Okay, we're going to do Mario Kart because that's the most popular game on here. It's what everybody came for, right? Okay, game settings. See right here, the game location. We're going to navigate to where the actual games are. For me, they're on my Q drive, the ROMs folder, TechnoParrot. So wherever you have your actual games, navigate there. Just a second. Enough. Enough. Lay down. My dogs are being crazy in the background. Okay. Mario Kart. Okay, let's see. This one right here. MKAGP3 Final.exe. Pretty sure that's the one. Each game will have an exe in a different spot. Just want to make sure. Yep, that's the exe. Open. Okay. So now it knows where the exe for that game is located. Click Save Settings. This is important because if you don't do that, it won't run. Okay. Well, let's see if the game will launch. Okay, bingo. Working. Okay. So that's the most important part. If you don't get that going, none of the other stuff will matter. So you have to get the game going inside of here. Now, we can close that, and I can show you what I was trying to look at before. See the user profiles folder? So the name and the batch file will match this name right here, okay? And that's telling TechnoParrot to load that XML, which will launch the game. Pretty simple, okay? So each game that you create, this needs to match that. Otherwise, everything else you see here in this batch file is exactly the same for every single batch file. So create a batch file matching the name of your game. The name of your art for your front end actually is what's going to be important. Okay, And then fill it out exactly like this. Make this match the XML for that game in your user profiles folder. Pretty simple. Now we're going to install the batch files. Okay. I'm going to copy all these. These are all the ones I have set up again already. 
Okay. And we're going to put them in the Techno Parrot emulator folder. Okay, I'm just going to right click, paste. Boom, just like that. Okay. Now we're going to use those batch files as ROMs. So in your front end, or you need to point it to this folder. Okay. Make sure that dot .bat is one of your extensions. And then you're going to generate an XML or a game list, ROM list, whatever. Okay. So that it has those games listed in your front end. And then if you're using Rocket Launcher, you're going to do the same. Okay. So you're going to point Rocket Launcher to this folder. You're going to put make sure that batch is one of the file extensions under PC Launcher. Okay. Dot .bat. And then you're going to generate a database. Okay. Um, here, we'll go through that real quick. Just basic rundown for anybody that doesn't understand this part. Okay, so under global, you're going to scroll down to PC Launcher. It's right there. Make sure that bat is one of your file extensions. All right. And then you're going to add the system, Techno Parrot. Okay, point it to the ROMs folder. Let's see. That's not accurate either. Oh no, I guess it doesn't matter. You can point it for this purpose. Okay, we're going to go ahead and point it to the actual emulator folder. I don't want to confuse anybody, so I'll change my setup just to, oh no, get rid of that. Yes. Get rid of that. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to add a ROM path. I'm going to go to where I have this folder for this tutorial. Okay. It's going to be desktop. Why is it not expanding here? Desktop. There we go. Okay. Techno Parrot Batch. Techno Parrot. Okay, and we're going to use this as the ROMs folder. Click OK. So now the actual emulator folder is my ROMs folder. It's not where the games are actually at, but that doesn't matter. So don't confuse yourself. And then we're going to generate a database. Twenty-eight games were found. Okay, so some of those batch files are, let's see, I need to look at that. There must be other batch files already in the emulator. Oh no, it picked up some of the EXEs. Okay. So we're not going to use any of the. E Never mind. Don't worry about that. You'll see here in a second. So now you're on Techno Parrot. Under the Emulators tab, you're going to click this Edit System Specific Settings. Okay. Under Application, you will navigate to the batch file for that game. Pretty simple. Under Appway EXE, you will navigate to the game's EXE for that game, wherever you have it stored. And then click process close app wait. That's it, you're done. That game will now launch through Rocket Launcher. Okay, so I mean, there's really nothing else to it. I'll show you how much these work, how well they work, okay? So I showed you that I have Mario Kart launching through Techno Parrot. So I'm going to find Mario Kart's batch file. And this is what I mean. You use it like a ROM, okay? Because when your front end executes this batch file, it's just going to launch the game. So I'm going to double click it and show you how that works. Double click the batch file. Loads up Techno Parrot. You can see it's loading up MKDX through Techno Parrot. And here we go. loading just like that you can do the same with every other game if you have games that aren't in my batch files that I've already created just like I said create another batch file name it to match your art and make sure the correct profile name is in the batch file and that's all there is to it I know it seems crazy simple but it is that's how simple it is so enjoy good luck hope it works out for you